Good news mga ka-YouTube si Trillanes. Tinanggalan na o binawian ng amnesty. Tiyak na ang pagkakakulong ng sundalong aso na mahilig tumahol. Halika't panoorin natin si Justice Guevara. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, magsubscribe ka na. That if actually nullified or declared void ab initio, all right, the issuance of the amnesty to Senator Trillanes, as if it never existed, never been valid for non-compliance with certain mandatory requirements for the availment of that amnesty. So binali wala ito as if it never existed. It's not you know something that was given and being taken back. All right, it's a declaration that it was void from the moment that it was issued. Next question. What makes it Ina for me not Yes, Ina. What makes it different from the amnesty grant to the other Mandala officers? Basically, entirely the same um, circumstances. Well, uh, the proclamation speaks of certain non-compliance on the part of Senator Trillanes with requirements for the grant of the amnesty. You will take note that uh, there, is a me there is mention of Proclamation Number 75, Series of 2010. So that is the general proclamation of amnesty to those who were involved in the uh, Oakwood Mutiny, Manila Peninsula uh, Siege, and uh, Marine Standoff no, on various dates, several dates yon. But uh, to be able to implement that grant of uh, amnesty, merong kinreate yung proclamation na yun, na ad hoc committee sa Department of National Defense uh, to accept yung applications, na individual applications for amnesty. So may mga basic requirements. Two of the most notable requirements, and this is uh, apparently uh, were not complied by Senator, uh, Senator uh, Trillanes, ay yung formal uh, pag fill up pers in person under oath of an official application for amnesty. And the other major requirement is that he should have admitted fault, alright, or guilt doon sa mga charges uh, na filed against him. There must be an express admission of guilt, alright, before um, uh, you can be eligible for amnesty. All right, so apparently, based on the review undertaken, I hindi siya na comply dito. As a matter of fact, there are allegations that, uh, to, the, uh, that to the media he said na he, he, parang, uh, he, he does not admit any guilt uh, of the offenses charged. No? Take note that for purposes of amnesty, we are talking about high crimes, political crimes, such as uh, rebellion, sedition, Mutiny, coup d'etat. And he was in fact charged with coup d'etat in a regular court of law. Yes, please, sir. Uh, uh, please identify yourself. Uh, General Tulip po bong Sir, uh, may ba kay uh, Senator Trillanes? May kasama ba siya? Uh, for now, the proclamation only covers him. no. But uh, I, I believe that uh, maybe others who might be similarly situated are also, uh, yung kanilang applications might have, uh, are also being reviewed. No? Not too sure about that, but I suppose that uh, since there is a review ongoing, uh, it might include not only uh, Senator Trillanes, but also the others. Yeah. Hi, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, may ibigay niya si Trillanes kanina. Ano sabi niya? Uh, meron daw siyang certificate. So, ibig ah. sabihin, nabigyan siya ng amnesty. Wala siyang uh, parang nag-comply siya sa mga requirements. Well, uh, let him just uh, show it. no? Uh, what we're saying is yung requirement of an application under oath does not exist in the records and that there are no records either of his any of admission of guilt on his part no? for the charges filed against him. Sir, hindi yan buwan na crap, please. Sir, does the proclamation have an effect of a warrant or kailangan pong mag-apply ng DOJ ng warrant of arrest a uh, By itself, no, uh, the proclamation directs uh, the Department of Justice 
as well as the armed forces of the Philippines no, to take the necessary uh, action in order to uh, continue the proceedings. Why AFP? Because apart from the criminal complaint for coup d'etat pending with the Makati Regional Trial Court, at the time of the issuance of the uh, amnesty or of the proclamation uh, granting the amnesty, I meron ding a uh, court martial proceedings uh, ongoing uh, before the Department of National Defense or Armed Forces uh, uh, on the matter of uh, the mutiny, conduct and becoming of an officer, and so forth and so on. Uh, so meron ding parallel proceedings happening before the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Kaya meron ding directive addressed to the EFP to continue the proceedings against Senator Trillianes. So um, that, that will probably entail the issuance of more detailed orders, no? like uh, <coughs> on the part of the prosecution, we will probably have to uh, reopen the case uh, that was filed before the RTC. So he cannot be arrested now without the warrant? Uh, the, the, the proclamation has directed uh, all enforcement agencies to apprehend him. So uh, he will be placed in custody uh, as to where that will be, that is a matter that uh, we need to await uh, a little. And uh, maybe for now, uh, if he's uh, attending sessions of the Senate, the Senate can probably uh, you know, put him under its custody in the meantime. The issue on legislative immunity doesn't rise in this case. It's not applicable. You know, there is a provision under the Constitution that provides the, uh, or gives uh, members of Congress the privilege of not being arrested while Congress is in session. But take note that that will apply only if the offense charge is punishable by an imprisonment of uh, not more than six years. So yun lang ang applicable yung privilege na yun. If the offense carries a penalty not exceeding six years. But coup d'etat carries the penalty of life imprisonment. And for that reason, it's not legal. Ano mga kalutubi sa kabasa na tutuwa na makukulong na uli si Tinig? Ang taong walang ginawa kundi Sir An ang ating Pangulo Duterte. Share, like, and subscribe naman, mga ka-YouTube. Salamat. God bless.